Hello everybody, welcome to another capabilities video tutorial. I'm Jordan and today I'm going to be explaining how to set up an account and create a resume on OhioMeansJobs.com. OhioMeansJobs is an extension of the state of Ohio's website and it's a valuable resource in your job search here in Ohio. The way the site works is that a person creates their profile on the website, uploads resumes, references, etc., and they search for jobs that are posted by employers. What's really interesting about it is that employers can also get into the action by viewing the resumes that job seekers have posted. Ohio Means Jobs has also recently teamed up with Monster.com. They're another big name in the employment industry, so it offers you that many more employers to search for. So let's start by opening up a web browser. Today I'm going to be using Mozilla Firefox. Once the web browser is open, click up in the address bar and type in the web address www.ohiomeansjobs.com Here you'll see the Ohio Means Jobs homepage. And the part you want to be familiar with is the job seekers part on the right. Employers go in on the left side. Um, there's places where you can search straight for jobs from that page. And there's a post update resume, career exploration, advanced job search, or search by category. What you want to do first is click on register and log in. And you're almost there. This is just a little screen telling you a little bit about them and that they're working with Monster. And this screen will come up every time, so just click continue. And this takes you to the login screen. Now there's two options here. At the top, you'll notice that it says username or email and password. If you're a current account holder, you can log in here and you'll be taken to your account. But what we're going to do today, since we don't have an account yet, is click the Go button in the middle and this will take us to the Create Account screen. Now, if you're familiar with our last video where we showed how to create a Google account, this is going to be a little bit of the same type of thing. There's just fields for you to enter personal information. The ones with the red stars next to them are required. So I'm going to enter my information here. You can put as much as you want into the ones that don't have stars, but it just means that the ones that have stars, you need to definitely have something there. And be as current as you can with this information, because this is the information the employers will use to contact you if they do choose to contact you. There's a section for U.S. military service if you've worked in the military. Now that I've got that filled out, I'm going to click on down to the login and email section. Now this is a username that you'll be creating. You can create anything you want. I usually use a combination of my first and last name, so I'm going to use jordan.passmore. You'll enter a password and you'll have to re-enter the password so that they know that you know the password. And then put an email address. If you set up a Gmail address before on our video, you could use that email address here. I'm just going to use my work email for now, jordan.passmore at capabilitiesinc.biz, and then you'll need to re-enter it for verification. This next part is a little bit about your background, and this isn't as in-depth as a resume will be, but it's a little bit to start you off so that you have a profile to begin with. There's a career level, you can put experience gained, there's years of relevant work experience, make sure you fill that part out. Degree level attained, if you have a degree, it lets you know where to go. Also, what I wanted to point out here is you can click on these red links and they will bring up some help if you ever need help. And I wanted to find out help about the target job title, so I clicked on that. I put in my target job title. If you're authorized to work, you click there. And if you're willing to re relocate, and then there's a travel box. You can click on how much you're willing to travel. If you have any government clearance, you can put it in here. This next part is strictly optional. It's um, for information gathering purposes. Just select your ethnicity and gender. And for the next part, you can build the resume online right away, but I want to just click on I'll post my resume later so we can get the account made right away. Click on I'll post my resume later and just click the create account button. And that's all there is to it. You now have an OhioMeansJobs.com account. This is going to be your home page, what you see every time you log in. You can keep track of your resumes, jobs that you like that you can save, and also modified searches that you can come in and search for the same types of jobs all the time. That's it for this part of the tutorial, creating the account. 
Next tutorial, we're going to be talking about uploading a resume and searching for jobs with your uploaded resume. So stay tuned next week for when we bring that tutorial out. And until then, have a good weekend.